Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Cruel and Beautiful, I the Dragon, Rabbit Hole, and King Dio. And today, we are having a look at another Game of the Year contender. This time, It Takes Two from Electronic Arts. The Game Awards has just nominated this thing, and I'm very excited to see just how, how good this game actually is. Let's uh, watch the official trailer and go. This is Joseph Farris, game director at Hazelight, and I'm here to show you gameplay of It Takes Two. The game is a co-op action-adventure platformer with a focus on marrying the story and gameplay. Oh no, you story and gameplay. And wait, wait, wait! Force. Of course, this upsets their daughter Rose, who creates two dolls that the parents magically turn into. <laughs> And with the guidance of a cheesy love book called Dr. Hakim, they have to stay together. I will help you fix your relationship. You now control Cody and May on this crazy ride. So wait, I'm a playable character in this game? I've I've been divorced and my my daughter Fu has to <laughs> has to reunite me with my ex-wife who I probably fucking hate. Am I getting that right? In like this knockoff of uh, Super Mario 3D World. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, I'm getting major, major, major uh, unravel vibes from this. Where it kind of looks like EA is trying to to make something that's a little bit different, a little bit um, a little bit offbeat, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's appealing in and of itself. You, you know what I mean? Like the entire reason these kind of games exist is so EA can point to them and say like yeah look at all this uh, look at all this stuff we're doing creatively uh, we're one of the biggest innovators in the industry really th there's nothing special going on here um, the game doesn't look good I don't feel myself pulled in by the concept uh, I don't like the look of the gameplay um, the visuals and I'm sure the story wouldn't be good I'm sure like if I actually sat down and played this game I wouldn't feel invested with the story and the characters. The amount of variation is insane. There are no similar scenarios. Every scene is unique. Whatever happens in the story will be reflected in the gameplay. Let me show you some examples. When Cody Bro, imagine and playing this with your girlfriend or something. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> May finds out that Cody let a nest of wasps move in. The wasps have been made. Now they are forced into a war between the wasps and the squirrels using the squirrels' weaponry. <laughs> Wait, so it's Cocker's bad for a day. Combine the sound oh, no. and the match gun to create explosions. I don't know. I like the general idea, but it looks like they're uh, they don't have the really they don't have the skill to pull it off. Like you can you can have good ideas and not necessarily make them uh, engaging. You know what I mean? They're given pieces of a magnet as a metaphor for their attraction. Use the magnets to push and pull your way through danger. Another level is their relationship to time. You have no sense of time. She is never home. I can't be in two places at the same time, can I? Oh, unless you want me to clone myself. Cloning and no sense of time. Cody can now control time and reverse objects. And May can make a clone of herself to swap places. Actually, most of the levels in this game will have May and Cody using a new mechanic. So depending on what character you're playing as, you'll have a different experience. And instead of having collectibles and other shiny sh**, we made the world interactive oh, come on, this is and fun. We also have a huge amount of minigames spread out throughout the levels for Cody and May to find and to compete with each other. And lastly, with the friends pass, you only need to buy one copy of the game to play with your friend. Now, have a great trip and with I your hope friend. You enjoy the game. Oh man. I know you will. <laughs> I was saying playing this with your girlfriend and their friends play 3 to uh, free. Okay. Um I I like the general concept of being this uh this co-op platforming game where like you play with uh or it's sort of a metaphor for like uh, reforging a broken marriage or something, um, and that that idea is really appealing to me. I like the idea that all the uh, all the levels are completely different and distinct, but it, it just does not look fun to play, right? Like, I, I think they could have done a lot with this, but I, I just don't think um, it would hold up 
under an actual gameplay situation. You know what I mean? Like, it, it has that feeling uh, of just watching this trailer that, oh, th this is something that's focused more on the story than the actual gameplay. And that's always, like, a big, big no-no with, with these games. Like, that that is not something that really should be permitted, allowed. And um, uh, th this, uh, what's more... This is a game that I've heard absolutely nothing about among the community, among among gamers. So my my assumption, and um, and considering this isn't on Switch, I believe, uh, my assumption would be that like this game isn't isn't all that appealing. Uh, uh, this hasn't really won over a lot of people, um, and I'm not really interested in trying it. So uh, by that logic, this game absolutely cannot be considered game of the year.